Jesse McDowell uh, was saying, if I were to go wading in a PV kilt, specifically polyvisco, so we don't have to worry about addressing a wool kilt in a situation, wading in a PV kilt in fresh water or salt water, what is the best way to clean the kilt and what damage should I possibly expect if I do this? Could I even go so far as to use a PV kilt as a swimsuit in fresh or salt water? Now, the reason he got into this, by the way, this is not like just off the top of his head. He's a fly fisherman. So he wants to wear a kilt um, when he's doing fly fishing and he knows that he's going to at least get the bottom of the kilt wet. The rest yeah. of the stuff, I think he's just like, hey, that'd be cool. But uh, what would you recommend for water and kilts? And I do have an illustrative aid for this. Sure. Um, <clears throat> for fly fishing in a kilt, if the bottom edge is going to get wet, the only uh, A, he said PV. So yes, I would say PV. Um, potentially not wool. For one specific reason. Well, and even PV, you're running a little bit of risk of this, hmm. is if the bottom edge of it gets wet, it may, it's it's never happened to me, but I know people who have complained about it, it will cut at the back of your knee. Yeah. That sensitive skin on the back of your mm -hmm. knee, if mm -hmm. your kilt is wet, especially if it's wool, and you're walking, and you have to walk to the fishing hole, let's say, um, and it's swishing and, you know, slapping at the back of your knees on that sensitive skin, you can kind of uh, there's been, you know, Getting cases. Of, yeah, there's been cases of people bleeding from the back of the legs. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's gonna but, gonna be an issue with PV. With PV, I don't think it would be. It can still be an irritant, but I don't think it would right. actually like I would agree with saw that. at your legs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. They're meant to take abuse. That's the that's the the joy of PV. Yeah, is it's Teflon coated. You know, you muck it up. We've had guys run, you know, mud races and you know Spartan races and all kinds of like, jumping over. You know, yeah. crazy things with it, and just throw it in the washer, and you boom, you're done. Bob's your uncle. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but for wool, I would be leery of it. No, now, don't for do it at all with wool. Yeah, for swimming. Mm -hmm. Um, is that where your uh, yeah your see, image comes in? I, I think I, there's two an there's two parts of the answer to this, if I recall. What we dun, talked dun, about. Dun dun dun. Okay. Um, from a practical level, the kilt will probably be fine even in salt water. And here is the proof. This is our good friend Captain Ron of Captain Ron's Diving, and he asked us to make him a polyviscose kilt that he could wear as a promotional thing. He doesn't go do this all the time, but to promote his business, he wanted to be able to dive in a kilt, uh, just to just to drive home the Celtic style of his business. Um, and yeah, so we actually made him a polyviscose kilt that he has taken scuba diving. So the kilt's gonna be okay. PV kilt is gonna be okay. I don't think we don't have any evidence that salt water damages that fabric at all. No. I mean, it might get crusty. If you leave it, if you leave it on, yeah, right. Ian's laughing over here. If you, like you leave salt it, salt stains in it or something. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's like you yeah. want to wash it after you're done. Right, <laughs> right. Once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shake it out, and like an salt. octopus comes out of your kilt. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yep. yep. Yeah. But but stylistically or or behavior wise, I think was where you were. You had some thoughts. Yeah. The uh, uh, the only thing my concern with wearing a kilt for swimming, so to speak. Um, what are you going to wear under it? A, 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 a pair of swim trunks is, you know, is, is bifurcated. So you're, you're, you know, not flashing your junk there with all the little kids in the pool. Um, or it has the little, you know, the little liner thing that goes in a kilt or in a, uh, uh excuse me, in a swim truck. Not like the mesh. <clears throat> correct. Mesh thing. Yeah. So if you're wearing a kilt, um, a, what you're going to like, let's say you're, you're going to walk from the shallow end, you know, into the water. The, the kilt will essentially float for a second or two. <laughs> is it the visual descending I'm, into no, the No, my visual, for, my first visual is of a guy cannonballing into the pool. You know, like, oh, cannonballing, and the kilt goes, woof. <laughs> <laughs> Little kids with snorkel masks. <laughs> ah, I'm blind. <laughs> mommy, mommy, don't let the orca get me. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. No, the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Friday Jimmy broke in exactly. <laughs> the, the no, Marilyn but Monroe. it's yeah, it is. Yeah, you're gonna do a Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. It's gonna be a yeah. Marilyn Monroe underwater. It's gonna be, yeah. You're gonna look at freaking tartan jellyfish now, you know, if with, you're... with the tentacles lying you know, down below. So, you know, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> the tentacle got me. <laughs> I, uh, I don't yes. think swimming. I, I think no. I think having a swim a kilt as a beach wrap kind of a thing. 
and we know people have done this. Like you have it, you have your casual kilt, your polyviscous kilt, whatever, and you wear it to and from the edge of the water, and you have your swim trunks or whatever, and it's just something fun to put on. That's how sport kilt started. Was mm-hmm. they were mm-hmm. a psych? They were for they were cyclists, and they wanted something to change in and out of their stuff, right. and they would just a a wrap around more than a beach towel, less than a real kilt, and they would just wrap it around. Boom, you know. Change okay. out of your bike shorts, done. It was a fun little thing, and you know they started off doing it that way. Mm. But the uh, yeah, if you're not wearing underwear, bloop, it's gonna go up. Obviously, if you are wearing underwear, you're gonna have soaked freaking underwear walking around, you know, with, yeah. with chafed thighs from wet soaking wet underwear. Oh lord. Um, I wouldn't do it, except as a gag, if I was gonna change right out of it. You better know your audience if you're gonna do that as a gag. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, I just, yeah. That that cannonball image is still getting me. It's like ah, but the um. I'm imagining like off the high dive and the wind takes right, it up. Right, that's what I mean. Uh. That's what I mean. It's just, woof. It's just like it's like those paratrooper toys he had as a kid, but not fun. <laughs> What's that? You that know? Scottish meme? The uh, Scottish paratroopers. Scottish paratroopers. The guys yep. just had their eyes covered. Yes, yes. Yep. I actually have that image somewhere. Yep. Um, but yeah, a polyviscose fabric is gonna be fine. If you want to wear it fly fishing, go for it. It's a, you, you're going to enjoy having it out in the wilderness for other reasons. Like we talk about kilts as a good thing for hiking. So getting to and from where you're going to be doing the fishing and, and all that, sure. Yeah. I would not recommend going swimming in a kilt. But no. like a kilt getting wet because you're out in a, in a stream or something, fine. Indeed. Yeah. So what would you guys do? Would you ever wear a kilt in the water? Let us know in the comments. <laughs>